Scalping is a popular strategy employed by day traders around the globe. How to scalp in financial markets. Use a broker that offers tight spreads. At FX Open, you can start trading with spreads from 0.0 pips. Find the right asset. A scalper needs a market that exhibits large trading volumes on short-term timeframes. Trade at the right time. Traders need to pay special attention to sessions and market-moving news releases. Utilize leverage. Leverage is one of the frequently overlooked aspects of scalping. However, it carries increased risks that a trader should consider. Let's move to scalping strategies. Note that all strategies are used on one-minute charts, but can be applied to higher timeframes. RSI Reversal Strategy This strategy makes use of the overbought and oversold zones of the relative strength index and two exponential moving averages to identify potential reversal points in the market. Traders may go long when the 50-period EMA is above the 200-period EMA and the price is below the 200-period EMA, with the RSI below 30. In short trades, traders may open a position when the 50-period EMA is below the 200-period EMA and the price is above the 200-period EMA, with the RSI above 70. Traders may take partial profits when the price returns to the 50-period EMA before moving their stop-loss to break even. The stop-loss level is based on market conditions. Bollinger Bands and Stochastic Strategy This strategy uses the Bollinger Bands and Stochastic Indicators to find entries in areas where the price is likely to reverse. Traders may go long when the price breaks below the lower band, then closes above it, with Stochastic below 20. Traders may also open a short position when the price breaks above the upper band, then closes below it, with Stochastic above 80. Traders often take profits at the middle line between the Bollinger Bands before moving the stop loss to break even. Many also close the position when the price reaches the opposing band. The stop loss is based on market volatility. Trend following ADX strategy. This strategy uses the average directional index indicator alongside two fast exponential moving averages to find trend following opportunities. When the 7-period EMA is above the 9-period EMA, the price is above the 7-period EMA, and the ADX crosses up 30, traders go long on the first retest of the 7-period EMA. When the 7-period EMA is below the 9-period EMA, the price is below the 7-period EMA, and the ADX crosses down 30, traders go short on the first retest of the 7-period EMA. Traders often begin to take profits at a level that gives them 1 colon 1 risk, reward, then trail their stop loss below the 9 period EMA for longs or above for shorts. The stop loss level depends on market conditions. To test these scalping strategies, open a trading account at FX Open and enjoy tight spreads from 0.0, .0 pips, low commissions from $1.50, and advanced trading tools. Good luck!